everyone. Today, you are going to see a demo of the HyperScience platform. I'll start by uploading some documents into the platform. Now, I'm doing this manually today. However, in production, this would happen automatically using one of our out-of-the-box connectors, including message queues, folder listeners, email listeners, RPA integrations. There's also a RESTful API with which you can integrate. So the platform is very flexible in terms of integrations both into and out of hyperscience. While these documents process, let's review what we've just submitted. We have here a handful of contact lens prescription forms. And as I look at these, and as you look at these, I'm sure it becomes very obvious that they each look very differently from the others. However, the fields on this form are pretty standard for a contact lens prescription form. You can see things like exam date, the OD and OS sphere values, base curve values, and diameter values. This next document, likely another image taken by a cell phone. Again, the fields on this document are very similar to the last one. Next up, another document. This one is handwritten. However, the information is the same. ODOS sphere, cylinder values, axis values, BC values, and diameter values. And finally, another picture where we see those similar values. So I'll click back into the platform and review what HyperScience has done thus far. We see here that HyperScience has now located the fields that it's confident enough to locate on its own. It's raising its hand for this final document and saying, hey human, not quite confident enough to locate this one field. Can you please provide me your input? As the human that uses hyperscience, this is exactly how I help the machine. You can see I'm prompted for the field for which hyperscience needs help. And all I have to do is locate that field that's it. The remainder of these fields on this document, HyperScience was able to locate on its own. So I will hit enter on my keyboard and let that continue processing. The next step that we will see HyperScience perform is the extraction step or the transcription step. However, there will be some fields for which HyperScience raises its hand and says, hey human, I need some help deciding what this field says. We now see this task is available. One of these documents has a status of manual transcription. Again, as the human that uses hyperscience, this is exactly how I help the machine. The field for which hyperscience is raising its hand is highlighted for me. And this is hyperscience saying, hey, the thing that I'm reading is not something that I'm expecting to see. Human, you need to make this decision. I can look at this field and make the very quick decision. The relevant value for this document is negative 4.50. I type that in, it's very quick, it's very easy. I hit enter on my keyboard and that's it. The remainder of these fields, HyperScience was confident enough to extract on its own. So I will hit enter one final time and let that finish processing. Let's review the results. This first document, that picture taken with the cell phone, HyperScience was confident enough to both identify and transcribe all of these fields all on its own. This next document, once again, HyperScience has done a phenomenal job. Each of these fields, HyperScience was able to both identify and extract on its own. Next up, this handwritten document. Again, for this document, the only thing I as a human needed to do was type in that one field. The remainder of the work HyperScience did on its own. Even the sphere value was located by the machine. Most impressively, these two BC values were extract or were located and extracted by the machine, despite the fact that the human that filled this form out made these updates. This is a really powerful example of hyperscience taking context into account. Hyperscience recognizing 
what the intent is behind completing this form. In this final document, again, hyperscience has done almost all of the work. The only field that I as a human needed to help the machine with was this field. The remainder of the field, hyperscience was able to both successfully locate and extract without human involvement. As you can see, Hyperscience's proprietary machine learning technology is capable of processing all sorts of documents, including structured documents, semi-structured documents, even unstructured documents. And this in includes whether these documents are completed in handwriting or with machine print. Unlike other solutions, Hyperscience takes context into account when extracting data and reduces the amount of exception handling. As the platform processes more and more documents, the level of automation increases while maintaining that accuracy target, requiring less exception handling from human employees. Furthermore, a QA mechanism also runs in the background, routing a small portion of the work to a worker or team of workers to ensure our customers are both hitting their target accuracy SLAs and are able to continuously feed back into the machine learning models they use.